What's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Terrible Tile Tuesday. I am your host, Sim Football Critic, and ready to do another show, guys. Now this show will probably be relatively short. As you can see, guys, I am not in my normal environment. I'm out of town, guys, and I'm just trying to do what I can do, you know, trying to make do with what I have. Um, you know, I'm sorry I'm very late on this episode. I wasn't able to do it live. Like I said, guys, I'm out of town. But hey, I still got to get the show done the best way I can. Now, this particular show, guys, we're just going to talk about, man, some of the free agency moves. Um, and, you know, as far as not real free agency, as far as the actual free agency, but, you know, some of the guys that may have been past free agents or what have you or approaching free agency. Some of the moves that the Steelers have made, as you're going to see, I'm going to look down here from time to time guys just looking at my notes you know some of the off season signings and you know losses and releases and things of that nature you know as of this point like i said there's not a whole lot to talk about right now but we we'll definitely try to find little areas that they, you know that we could discuss guys weekly until we start getting more into combine and you know who looked good and what positions we need to go after you know i'll, I'll start talking about some of those things going forward but like i said this particular show i thought this was something quick and easy Easy I could hit on so let's go ahead and get it started guys now basically I'm gonna read to you the list of guys you know whether they were signed or you know whatever the case may be whether they're not with us anymore etc etc then I will talk about specific guys all right and how I think you know it affects what we want to do going into next season whether I think it's a good idea you know this that and the third so let's go ahead and get it started guys so as far as guys you know, who are basically signed right now, and this is as of the 14th. So they signed free agent linebacker Akil Blunt, free agent linebacker Jason Faneka, or Fanaka, offensive lineman Kyle Friend, Mike Matthews, also offensive lineman, running back Trey Williams, cornerback Devontae Johnson. Uh, they signed a strict uh, exclusive rights free agent, Anthony Ciccolo. Another free agent, Roy Philman, Philan, uh, Philon. I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly. And you pretty much know these guys were free agents, so I'm going to not read that part again. I'll just give you the names. All right. Another D lineman, LeVon Hooks. Tight end, Xavier Grimble. They waived Justin Gilbert. Kicker, Chris Boswell. Long snapper, Greg Warren. Fitzgerald Toussaint, obviously a running back. Cornerback, Greg uh, Ducree, I believe is his name. Outside linebacker Ferentin Hung Hunguin or uh, Hagunin. I don't know, guys. I could be pronouncing it wrong. Safety Jordan Dangerfield. Fullback Roosevelt Nix. Wide receiver Kobe Hamilton. Running back Gus Johnson. Running back Brandon um, Brown Dukes. Running back Carlos Williams. Running back Dreamus Smith. Cornerback Brandon Dixon. Cornerback Mike Hilton. Offensive lineman Kevon Milton, offensive lineman Matt Failer, or Failer, safety Jacob Hagen, wide receiver Marcus Tucker, and wide receiver Dan Stewart. All right, guys. So I'm gonna touch on some of these guys, and like I said, I'll give my thoughts on you know what may transpire, you know how it will affect what the Steelers are doing, etc. Now let's start with the first guy here on my list, Anthony Ciccolo. Now, what happened is they signed Anthony Ciccolo as an exclusive rights free agent, you know, with the one year exclusive rights free agent tender. So that basically means, if I'm not mistaken, another team, you know, can match the tender or give an offer. And then the Steelers would have to match that offer in order to retain him. If no one offers anything else, he'll be playing for the Steelers with the tender. Right, so that's pretty much how that goes. Another team can offer something, we have to match it. If we don't match it, he goes to the other team. He's important, guys, because I, I like Anthony Ciccolo. I like what he can potentially bring to the table. I think he can be a valuable pass rusher. We'll see. You know, he hasn't played that much, but remember, starting camp last year, they were saying that he was looking like the best edge rusher that we had. He suffered an injury in the season, so he wasn't able to you know continue to play consistently. And I think that has something to do with his production, obviously. But I definitely like Anthony Ciccolo, man. I think he has upside. And if he's cheap, why not bring him back? You know, we definitely need to try to, to work as many guys as we can to try to develop some type of pass rush. Next guy here, Xavier Grimble. <coughs> Excuse me. Same thing with him. You know, I think Grimble has some upside. You know, he's a raw talent, just like they said last year. 
He showed some flashes of what he may be able to provide, but I think he would definitely help with the depth at tight end. You know, we we'll still have to wait and see what's going on with Ladarius Green and things of that nature. And um, Jesse James, you know, we got him. And, you know, just we, we definitely need, you know, a nice rotation there at tight end. And, you know, I think he fit in well with what we were doing. You know, he made some big plays for us, caught a few touchdowns. So why not? You know, why not let him have a second crack at it? All right. Next guy, let's see. Justin Gilbert. They cut Justin Gilbert. And, hey, I kind of touched on this last week, man. I don't know if this was a huge loss for the Steelers. Some people prefer to have him. I just don't think it's a huge loss. You know, considering when he came in last year, he did a couple things. You know, he helped out in the New England game, you know, versus New England at home. And, you know, I, I don't know. He never really panned out with kick returning. And, you know, he was able to start doing it a little late. He suffered an injury. It's just, you know, production-wise, I don't think we're losing a whole lot by not retaining Justin Gilbert. So I'm not too upset about that one. It is what it is. Chris Boswell, obviously, we need to bring him back. Same deal like Anthony Ciccolo, exclusive right free agent. You know, if someone is able to offer the tender or you know, outbid our tender, so to speak, and we don't match it, we'll lose him. And I think he's a key component. Again, I think Chris Boswell, the Wizard of Oz. I like him. He's done a very good job with the Steelers. I would love to retain him. There's no reason to try to go out and try to find another kicker right now if we could keep this guy. But I understand the business side of it. You know, there's other people that need to be signed. If he's unable to be signed, or I guess they felt like he wasn't going to be able to be signed, you know, for the right price. Or who knows? Maybe they didn't make that type of offer yet. It makes sense to put the tender out there and they don't be surprised. Another team may try to, you know, outbid or, you know, offer him more money. So we'll have to see how that works. But I think you try to do what you can do to keep Chris Boswell. He's been solid for the Steelers. Greg Warrens, you know, he signed a one-year contract. We know that by now. You know, it was always good to have a veteran in that position, somebody who's been doing it, you know, as a long snapper. Why not keep the same guy? You know, you'll find another guy later, but if you can get a guy for cheap, might as well keep him. All right, Fitzgerald Toussaint, exclusive right free agent. I don't know how I feel about uh, Tucson, guys, to be honest, because you look down the list. You know, I'm looking at another guy like Carlos Williams. I think Carlos Williams has a lot of potential, a lot of potential. And a lot of, the, you know, he's one of the guys that we've signed to a reserve future contract. So it's for the upcoming season. I'm interested in seeing what Carlos Williams can bring to the table. That guy could be a nice spark plug or another big body you know, that's similar to a Le'Veon Bell in terms of just being a bigger back. You know, you if D'Angelo Williams comes back, then obviously I think that's your three that you go with. You know, I don't know if you want to keep Tucson around or not. I honestly think the Steelers are going to go, you know, half back, running back, whatever you want to call them in the draft. You know, you get youth right there and you get that rookie contract. You know, that's pretty much going to be not that much money. So I'm not not sold on Fitzgerald Tucson. You know, if somebody else matches the tender or whatever, or, you know, I don't know. It is what it is. We'll see what happens with him. Uh, who else on this list is key points? Roosevelt Knicks. Got to get him back. <laughs> we offered him a tender as well, but at fullback, I don't think a whole lot of teams will be after him, so I think he'll be back. He did great things for us. Great special teams guy. Need to have him. Kobe Hamilton is another one. Now, you know, one would think that the wide receiver position is going to be wide open as far as competition. You would think that Martavis Bryan is going to come back and solidify that spot. We'll see. But as far as whoever else is going to, you know, be in that fourth, fifth, maybe even sixth spot, because you would expect Eli Rogers to be safe with the slot position. So you're looking at one through three. You got Antonio Brown, Martavis Bryan more than likely. And Eli Rogers. After that, you know, it's a toss up. Kobe Hamilton did some decent things for the Steelers, but I don't think that's a guy that you break your neck to re sign. The tender situation works well for him. We'll see what happens there. Um, there's not really anybody else on my list, guys, that, that I feel that's overly important. Jordan Dangerfield kind of falls in that same category. Nice special teams guy. 
did a couple things for us late in the season on early downs, like first down and things like that. I think he was in for run support. I do like what he brings to the table, but I think also doing the tender with him, another good situation. You notice when the Steelers do that with a lot of players, man, they know who to, who to you know, put that tag on, so to speak. They know that some of these guys are not gonna be, you know, big ticket items that people are after. So we usually are able to retain most of these guys. So I really feel comfortable with retaining most of these guys with the tender. Um, Chris Boswell would be the one guy that I would be a little concerned about. Cause hey man, like I said, he did very well for the Steelers. It could be another team out there looking for a kicker. Why not go get this kid that's shown to be a very good asset. You know, even his performance in the playoffs could way big in that. You know, the game against Kansas City. The world was watching that. So, I don't know. I'm a little nervous about that one, but I'm not concerned about anyone else. Some of these other guys, man, I, I really don't even know. Um, I would be interested to see what some of these DBs, you know, what they could bring to the table. You know, your Mike Hiltons and Brandon Dixon and uh, who was the other guy we signed? Devontae Johnson, these type of guys. Um, and they actually signed him to a contract. I can't remember exactly what the contract is, you know, consists of right now, but it'd be interesting to see what some of these DBs are gonna do, man, because I still think there's room for huge improvement in that area. We don't know exactly what Sinquez Gosen is gonna do. Is he gonna stay healthy? Um, you know, we're pretty cool on Audie Burns. We know he's gonna have a spot. Ross Cockrell, I still think his spot could be up for grabs. And then, you know, William Gay. Is William Gay somebody that we're going to keep or are we going to release him? And, you know, you want to have a good stable of cornerbacks. So that's going to be an interesting area, you know, interesting position because we might even do something in the draft in that regard. You never know. But I think that's going to be interesting. So anybody that's in camp as a DB, I'm going to keep a close eye on those guys to see who's going to emerge as, you know, someone who can help the Steelers out in certain situations, sub packages and things like that. But other than that, man, the rest of these guys on the list, I don't really feel like, you know, it's not a big deal. <laughs> we'll see what happens with some of these guys. You know, a lot of these guys are prior free agents. You know, they came in the league as a free agent, no longer with the team or they're on, they're on their rebound team, so to speak. So I don't know, but just wanted to make this quick video, man. Like I said, try to keep up with the transactions and things that are taking place and give you guys my thought on each, you know, each guy. And next week, you know, we'll find something else of importance to talk about. Um, you know, I, I kind of play it by ear now, guys, because we're in a limbo, a low period, if you will. So, you know, I kind of play it by ear trying to decide certain things that I want to talk about, even like this topic. You know, and shout outs to SteelersDepot.com. I read them all the time. And, you know, I thought this was definitely an interesting topic. Uh, they provided the list here. So I said, okay, you know, I'll definitely go ahead and talk about that as well. And, you know, just give my thoughts on the guys I think that are the most important on that list. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's episode. Guys, next week I will be back in my normal setting. And we'll have some more Steeler talk to bring to you guys. All right, you know the routine, man. Once you see the screaming face appear on the screen, if you want to sub, go ahead and hit that face and you'll be directed to sub to the channel. As well, guys, I always promise you, it will never hurt you to hit that like button. All right, guys, until next time, let me know what you think. Peace.